right here on North Kings Highway near Page across the street from the Urban League. Police tell us a man in his 30s was shot and killed. The core of their investigation was right here centered around this Phillips 66 gas station. It's also been a violent weekend in downtown St. Louis and the neighbor and the neighbors, the neighborhoods surrounding downtown, I should say, from a robbery outside the Metro Link to a homicide investigation on Wash Ave, even a triple shooting just south of downtown. First Lord Four's Alexis Zotos is hearing from concerned residents about the recent surge in violence in the city. Uh oh, concerned residents. <laughs> You can see all the debris here. This is the aftermath of a shooting that ended in a car crash here on Broadway, just a few blocks from Bush Stadium. It kicked off a violent 24 hours in the city of St. Louis. Crime scene tape draped across Broadway, blocking a busy street on a Saturday night in St. Louis. Police say the shooting took place a few blocks south around 8 p.m. Those victims fleeing the bullets crashed into two parked cars. Three inside the car were shot one with critical injuries, prompting homicide detectives to take the case. Just a few hours later, the homicide investigators called to Washington and 16th in downtown for a man shot in the head around 4.30 a.m. Sunday. The last two uh, weekends have been particularly violent. Uh, we've had six separate shooting <laughs> events, 10 victims, at least three deaths. Yeah, I knew he was Juice Crew before he even they even showed his name. He just got that. He looked like he got a yarmulke on that he don't even have one on. That's crazy. <laughs> it looked like oh boy from um a older version of uh he's Juice Crew too, uh Independence Day. Um uh, the the guy who with Will Smith in Independence Day, I can't remember his name. Oh, Jeff Goldblum. I got from Jurassic Park. Yep. 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 Yeah, man. Yeah, he definitely look. Look, look at that hook. Um, at least three nice. deaths. Um, you know, this is really a five alarm fire, is what it is for our neighborhood. The violent crime, not just in downtown. Sunday afternoon, a man was killed outside this gas station on North Kings Highway. And Sunday evening, a woman and young girl were shot on Shreve Avenue. Both are still alive. This is, you know, just the beginning of the summer when typically this stuff picks up. St. Louis police and city leaders last month promised to make... This is the beginning of the summer when typically this stuff picks up. Always the summer. It's a seasonal change. Nothing else. Just more safe and vibrant downtown. We all succeed when downtown does better. But Sturman says he's heard different versions of the same slogan year after year. You know, we've had uh, promises of increased police presence. Uh, the police foundation has committed some significant dollars uh, for more cops downtown. Frankly, we're not seeing them, particularly in nighttime hours when uh, bad things happen. St. Louis City Police tell First Alert 4 they've approved additional overtime for officers to increase patrols downtown and around the city. Next weekend, we'll bring tens of thousands into the city center with the Battlehawks playoff game at the Dome and Cardinals home game stretch. Downtown is, is certainly safe during the day when, you know, these kinds of events happen. And police say overall downtown crime is down 38 percent since this time last year. But with the shootings this weekend, residents say more must be done. Uh, that's just not normal. Uh, it's not acceptable. And it's not a signal that crime is down. San Luis City Police tell me after this weekend's violence, they will be looking at those crime trends and evaluating their patrol strategy to ensure residents and visitors stay safe. A St. Louis man now navigating his life without his brother. John Christmas died at Crown Food Mart on Sunday afternoon. The man accused of shooting him is in custody tonight, but First Alert 4 investigates found Travell Warren was arrested for gun charges and could have been in jail already, but instead was given a GPS ankle monitor tonight. Only <laughs> GPS ankle monitor for a violent thug criminal who then goes and shoots somebody at a fucking gas station. 
Certainly our John Kipper is hearing from the victim's brother, who's giving us a new perspective, John, in this legal process. Yeah, that's right, Sam. Travell Warren now sits at the City Justice Center. And in fact, he could have been here last weekend as well. But instead, last Friday, he left the courtroom with simply a GPS ankle monitor. Two days after that, police say he shot and killed John Christmas at a gas station. We just all trying to work through it and, and just accept, you know, our new normal. Gerald Christmas, a longtime criminal attorney in St. Louis, has consoled families suffering loss before. Now he's on the other side after someone shot and killed his brother, John Christmas, at a North City gas station Sunday. My brother was uh, very enthusiastic, uh, always the life of the party. We say Christmas was arguing with an employee at Crown Food Mart on North Kings Highway in North City. Eventually, Travell Warren saw Christmas had a gun and went for it. After a struggle, Warren shot Christmas. It's leading the calls to shut down the gas station. Gerald agrees. I want it closed. <laughs> I want it closed. There's also questions on whether Warren should have well, been closed the gas station. You know, that, yeah, that's in, smart. In this case, though, you know, two things. They can close the store. Close the store. Make it to where you can only, like, come up and use your credit card to get gas. Put this guy out of business. Put this hard-working man out of business because Negroes can't control themselves. But also, you have a bunch of sons hanging out at these gas stations as we chronicled last night, too, ironically. Like, it is their office, man. Yeah, I don't know if you... I'm not sure if a gas station can really survive without an inside, though. You don't really make a lot of money off of that gas. It's their Elks Lodge, man. These gas stations are Sun Thugs Elks Lodge. It's their, it's their uh, fraternity. Country club? Warm house. I don't, I don't even think even, even if they get the inside, they, they still hang out there. Yeah, yeah I'm just yeah. trying to, like, minimize it. See, you know, you're right. They'll still hang out there because... But I'm just saying, like, they won't be able to get snacks and shit. They won't be able to go in when it rains, you know, say when it rains, you know, get shelter and shit from the rain. Yeah. Um, this, this goes back to the point you made earlier about uh, these guys, they don't build. They just destroy. Yeah. I mean, 